Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Bro Running. Coming back with another video. Today, we're going to be doing, doing another predictions. Today, we're going to be taking a look at my week 14 and see how I did. And we're going to take a look at my predictions for week 15. Okay, so let's take a look um, at week 14 and let's see how I did. And it should be right. Okay. First game, I thought Pittsburgh could pull it out against New England. New England hasn't been looking well, so I really thought New England was going to win it. So, yeah. Atlanta versus Tampa Bay. I didn't think Atlanta had a great win the previous week against the Jets. I wanted to put Jets in playing best, but they were still able to get the win. Um, but Atlanta was still able to get the win. Baltimore against Rams. That was a very close game and very tight, crazy ending. Um, uh, Detroit versus Chicago. I really thought Detroit was going to win that game. Detroit seemed like the better team. And yeah, uh, let's take a look at Houston versus Jets. I thought. Houston was seeming like they were playing like one of the best teams in the league, going head to head against some of the top talent. And as you can see right here, Houston did lose to the Jets. Now let's take a look at Kansas City versus Buffalo. Controversy, not really, you know, but Kansas City did take the L. I thought Philly was going to pull a win over Dallas. I didn't think Dallas was going to be able to do it. So it was a previous meeting that they've had. Miami versus Tennessee. Miami seemed like the better team this season. And just seemed like they would beat him. Green Bay versus the Giants with Tommy DeVito back there with his mobs, the family, and everybody else in the mob. Um, I think I thought that, you know, Green Bay could pull it out after the great win, after how good they've been playing recently. But I guess not. So let's take a look. First game of the week, we got Chargers versus Raiders. I think with Justin Herbert out, uh, I don't think that this team's going to do well. So I think the Raiders are going to come in and take this win over the Los Angeles Chargers because Raiders, you know, even though they played absolutely horrendous the previous week, not a lot, not getting a single point, I think this is going to change. Maybe momentum will shift now. Now let's take a look at Minnesota versus um, Cincinnati with Justin Jefferson being questionable, um, but also Jamar Chase being questionable in this game. You can see, and they're on their they're switching quarterbacks around this game. So I'm going to say Cincinnati because Cincinnati's quarterback. And Jake has been playing really good. Browning has been playing really good this season, which um, Joe Burrow is taking, having been injured. Uh, Pittsburgh versus Indianapolis. I think Pittsburgh is going to pull us out. Uh, Indy is a good team, but Pitt has just like been playing really well re recently and has been showing off that they have the ability to be a good offense in this time. And, you know, Tom Tomlinson doesn't like to go have a losing season, so I'm going to take Pittsburgh in this uh, situation. Uh, Denver versus Detroit. I, 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 both teams I want to see succeed, but, you know, I, in, in what I've seen and the way that things have been going, you know, Denver has been playing some solid football this season and has been playing really well. Uh, they did barely squeak out a win against the Chargers. You know, it was a very... It was a game where, like, maybe if Herbert was healthy, it could have gone differently. But Detroit losing to Chicago last week showed that they're they're very they're a very team that can be beaten by anybody, and that that doesn't have to be a top team to beat them. So that's why I'm gonna go with Denver in this play. Atlanta versus Carolina. I think Atlanta's gonna win this game. I don't want Atlanta to win this game, but I think Atlanta's gonna win this game. They're just such a good team in this sense. Um. Chicago versus Cleveland. I'm going to take Cleveland with Joe Flacco, elite QB, uh, future pro ring, Ravens ring of honor member, arguably, probably the probably probably one of the best we've seen. Not be seen as like an elite level quarterback. You know, having a shorter career, coming from an FCS school. You know, a very very good good player. Uh, now let's take a look. Uh, Tampa Bay versus Green Bay. I think Green Bay might pull this out. Green Bay has been, it didn't look good last week, but I think maybe they work on it. And maybe with Christian Watson actually playing, might help them out this time and get them down the field. Jets versus Miami. You know, if Zach Wilson plays the way that he played last week, I think the Jets are going to win this game. Jets defense can stop this Miami team, and this Miami team has not been looking well. And with Tyreek's injury, I don't think that this team can make it that far without Tyreek. 
So that's why I have the Jets winning this game. I know that, and I think that's a massive upset in the sense that that's a big upset. Now in this game, you know, with the way the Giants have been playing defensively, being physical, going against a team like the Saints who, you know, aren't the best in the in the sense of having a good quarterback play. You know, their quarterback play, uh, quarterback play has been the best. And a team like the Giants take advantage of that, especially if you look at the games against Sam Howell, Bailey Zappi, and Mac Jones, and the previous week against Jordan Love. I mean, Jordan Love didn't really throw interceptions, but in the other two games, they had a total of nine intercep- nine total turnovers. It's going to play a huge role. That's why I'm taking New York Giants over the Saints, because they, they they're, right now their turnover ratio for the past three games has been three. Giants have turned the ball over three times and got the ball 12 times. It's a massive mess. So for one, every turnover the Giants make, they get four turnovers. You know, that's really impressive for their defense and looks really good. Houston versus Tennessee. I think, depending on how things work, but I think Tennessee could actually pull this out because with CJ Shaw being questionable for this game, maybe not fully healthy and not practicing this week might not be the best thing for him because he is a young quarterback still getting used to the system. You know, it's very hard to be, especially being a quarterback like him, who, you know, no offense, but doesn't play, didn't play in the Big Ten, hasn't played in a Big Ten championship game, I don't think, because he's never beat Michigan uh, as the starter, which is a huge thing. So he's never had to deal with the situation of, oh, consistently playing over and over and over and over, which could be play into the role of, like, Maybe it's getting to him. Maybe it's affecting his gameplay. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, because you don't have that, you know, week before the playoffs or this or that before the games. New England versus Kansas City. I'm going to take Kansas City on this. Yes, New England did play really well, but they they just don't have a quarterback. And I feel like Kansas City's defense is just going to tear apart whoever they have at quarterback this week. Uh, San Francisco versus Arizona. Uh, I think San Francisco's going to win. It's not even close. Uh, Arizona has been looking okay this season since Kyler came back. But they're not going to beat this amazing San Francisco defense. Uh, and it's just not going to work. Why do you ribs? I think, I think the bye week helped him out maybe a little bit. I think Sam Howell, you know, what I'm hearing is Sam Howell could be the future of this team, you know. And it's not, it's really up front. They need to work, this Washington team needs to work on is just building a line around Sam Howell. Because again, he has these, he is two, has a great back in, uh, um, what's it called? G, um, right. No, they have an amazing running back and amazing receivers in McLaurin. Um, my God, who's the other guy? Um, yeah. But they have an amazing team, but I think Rams are going to pull us out. They had a great game against arguably one of the better teams in the league within the uh, Ravens. Now let's take a look at Sunday Night. No, this is Sunday Night Football. Uh, I think, um, uh, I think uh, Dallas versus Buffalo. I think Dallas got a big win, but what I'm hearing is maybe what I'm, I'm hearing a lot of things being said, and I think Buffalo could easily pull this game out away from. This Dallas team, you know, make it come and get a huge upset against this team and, you know, make a big play. Now, let's take a look at Baltimore versus Jacksonville. Depending on how Trevor Lawrence, Trevor Lawrence did not have a good game uh, last week. And I think that this injury is going to be playing a little bit of a role, especially against a great team like this Baltimore Ravens team that has been playing really good this season. Has, I think they have an, I think they still are locked at number one. Uh, Number one seed right now in the AFC right now. So I do think this Baltimore team is going to take the win here. Final game, uh, Eagles versus Seahawks. I think the Eagles are going to come out of this game with the dub. Seattle is an average team. And I, and I'm just an average team. So I think, I think that's going to play a role, but I think Miller is going to win this game and then gain the lead over the NFC East, being the first team in over 20 years to get back to back winning to get back-to-back division titles in the NFC East. And yeah, guys, that's my predictions for the uh, for week 15 of the 2023 NFL season. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you guys made it this far in the video. Let me know down in the comment section below.
by telling me your who, who you think I predicted wrong. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.